Hey guys, Blue State Conservative here coming to you from Portland, Oregon. Though my hair may look more like a Jersey Shore situation, <laughs> I threw it up and it just happened to look like this and I'm like, cool, I look like a Shore girl. Anyways, uh, I was doing a little research into the NYPD. For those of you who don't know, my husband was NYPD before. I convinced him to move to Portland, where I'm from, for a better quality of life. Uh, isn't that a fucking joke? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so here we are. Digging into NYPD. Now, the NYPD is experiencing a mass exodus of officers, naturally, right? And um, I was just pulling hard numbers because I want actual factual information. And they are down almost 3,000 officers from 2019. And they have many more on the books to leave. They're having to stagger their departures. Now, at that same time, with the NYPD budget cuts, they have canceled a class now it's like a graduation ceremony where thousands of officers are sworn in. My husband went through this very thing. It's you know the largest police graduate ceremony in the country and they've had to cancel the last one. Though they are, from what I just read, 8,000 officers short of what they should have patrolling the streets. Think about that. And also take into account the fact that in New York City, crime specifically, but not limited to, homicides and gun violence in general has skyrocketed. Now I know I use that term often, but it has, it has. It has increased rapidly. So it's the perfect storm. Now for those of you who aren't too familiar with New York City, like I said, I lived there for a few years. I was blessed to live there after Giuliani had already came in and cleaned the city up. My dad grew up in the Bronx. I visited in the 80s, and I was young, but I visited in the late 80s, early 90s, my dad's old neighborhood in the Bronx, and it was a nightmare. We were very fearful to even get out of the vehicle. And then we came back when I was a teenager, after Giuliani had been in for a at least a few years and it was a different place there were men in the park playing chess there were park benches again because i remember when i went as a young child in the 80s i was like where are the park benches you could tell they were supposed to be there but they had been ripped out of the ground so just a different world altogether. so again i was blessed to live in new york city after giuliani but right now coming in after Bill de Blasio, it is so incredibly different. And, you know, there was a max, mass exodus out of New York City. I haven't ha uh, heard a lot of stats on that lately to know if that behavior is still happening. I can only imagine it is. It's not a place I'd want to raise a family. Um, I'm sure a lot of companies are leaving. I know I had seen that trending, a lot of companies leaving Manhattan. But anyways, just, you know, really the perfect storm. So you have um, not enough police officers, you have crime doubling, and you have defunding, which is getting rid of, or which already got rid of a lot of the specialty units that were put in place to keep New Yorkers safe. You have an absolute war zone now.